Oilers post game following a 3-2 loss to the White Court Wolverines in regulation here on Saturday night at Pace on Centennial Arena. Joining me now is the captain of the Oak Tokes Oilers, Tucker McRae. And Tucker, I, I want to say even with a four-game losing streak here at home, I want to say the last two or three games and even just maybe a little bit of a blip in a third period, this Oilers team has done very well in their starts and it just hasn't accumulated any points. So how does one as a captain yourself in this situation kind of address this and try to I, I would like to say everything's okay right now for this other team. Um, I think the biggest thing is guys are working hard. I think there's no question about that. Um, I think the biggest thing is uh, we got to start playing for each other here. Um, getting down with this, this few guys, um, it really just takes the intangibles to win games right now. And I think that's part of the thing that we're missing. We're giving up block shots, things like that, that we kind of have to bear down. And uh, if we want to pull out some games here with the short lineup. I want to look at this team's resilience again. You're down 2-1, kind of in the Lloyd situation. Lorenz gets that big goal late in the second period, and then it's kind of a race before you even get into a flow of this third period. But just the, is it more of just being exhausted and obviously yourself, you've had to take on a lot of responsibility with yourself being the only 20-year-old in the lineup? Um, I think there's a little bit of tired part, but, um, I mean, we definitely don't want to use the short bodies as an excuse. Um, I think the biggest thing is we're just having little mental lapses with, with things like blocking shots, going to t getting the red, taking hits, things like that, and and it's eventually costing us. So if we can bear down on that, we'll start pulling out some wins here. What do yourself as a captain and maybe even the coaching staff say to you guys right now? With obviously there's bodies coming back, and I really want to say this: this isn't the end of the world. There's no need to get these young players pushing the panic button, or you know, and it just almost starts to live rent free in everybody's heads. Um, I think the biggest thing is just like you said, making sure guys aren't panicking. Um, it's a long season where we're always prepping for playoffs. So uh, this is just kind of a little piece of adversity that we're going to face. Um, but I think the biggest thing is with all these young guys getting the experience and um, the opportunity, I think um, it's just best if guys take advantage of that, play for each other and um, kind of turn around this little skid that we're on. Got the old Grizzlies. You might have some players back. We don't know yet at this point. That's, and a, you got Olds on Tuesday in Olds. Is it maybe a good thing to get away from home for a little bit and just try and grind out a win that way? Um, I think that might be a, a nice change of pace for everyone. I think uh, um, we've been doing pretty well on the road. Uh, I know when we have been losing, so I think it might be good to kind of change it up, get guys out of their out of routine a little bit, change it up. I know some guys get in their heads a little bit when you go on a skid like this, so um, I think it'd be good to change it up, get on the road, um, and try and grease one out there. Tucker, appreciate your time, and we'll see you up in Olds on Tuesday. Awesome. Thank you. Now with Oilers assistant coach Reed Natowich and coach, uh, it, it's tough to be in this situation where you've lost four in a row, and to be honest, from the broadcast booth, I saw a lot of positives for this team, and I think that the fact that this is happening in October, and you're not getting something like this in the Januarys and the Februarys of the months where you're in a season, it's almost a blessing in disguise that this is happening now. Nonetheless, it is another loss, but just take us through what's kind of been happening for this Oilers squad here. Yeah, like um, as you know, throughout the course of that lineup, everyone's working very, very hard, um, and I think that's the biggest thing moving forward with this this group is uh, it's not. It's one thing to work hard, and then it's another thing to work as a unit of five, work hard and work smart off of it. And I think those are the little things um, that, you know, we spoke of yesterday that we need to do on a little bit more consistent basis. A um, lot of individual play, um, you know, cheating in certain areas, um, you know, lack of puck support in certain areas. Those are all habits where as hard as we work, if we don't do things in, as a team setting and a team unit and a unit of five, um, you know, the results will be what they are. The conversations with this team has just got to have, I, I would like to say that it's going to get better. Like it, this is just kind of like the 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 bumpy ride that is a junior a season is just happening now and i think just with timelines it's been two years and everything's not going right right away september was okay and you got those big wins but now with four in a row loss four losses in a row at home i think it does it just maybe just put everybody back a little bit and thinking hey this is a true process yeah and like we're we're not concerned we're not worried with anything um it's just you know up to us as a, as a coaching staff and up as the players to kind of buy in um it's it's a hard league uh for a lot of these guys it's their first year um playing in the league and it's one of those ones where um you know 
midget um, in, in minor hockey, those different levels, there's certain shifts you can take off. There's certain plays you can take off and you can still come out with um, some success. It, the higher you go, the harder that gets to do and the more consistent that you need to be. And that's our biggest one, right? Like you can't knock anyone um, for not working out, not giving their 100% effort. We just need as a unit to work a little bit smarter and more um, for the guy next to us as opposed to uh, the individual. Busy week for you next week with the old Grizzlies on Tuesday night in Olds and then a home at home against Brooks. Uh, as a coaching staff, what's the preparation process going into this week? Uh, just more honestly working on those intangible factors. I think uh, some structure uh, has uh, the structure's been good. I think we've been doing it um, quite nice. It's just those little things: the puck supports, the blocking the shots, the finishing the checks, um, and doing it on a consistent basis. I'm confident that our group knows what they need to do we just need to buy in a little bit more on doing it um consistent so that this week that's the focus and oh and olds um on tuesday night that's a heavy game they like um you know they're physical they're fast in terms of their body contact and separation so that's one that we need to battle out through and obviously uh the brooks bandits are the brooks bandits in terms of their high octane offense the uh the speed they bring to the table um big games for us to kind of prepare for um and hopefully we are learning and taking stuff from tonight's result. Appreciate the time, Coach, and we'll see you up in Olds on Tuesday. Thanks, Gino.